Hey guys, what's going on today? This is Dalsu. We are still playing Banished. We're kind of wrapping things up. I have a uh, total of 30 episodes planned. I believe this is, what, like 27? So if there's anything we want to do, we need to go ahead and plan it and execute. Because, uh, you know, I'm at the point where it's just not uh, its not that exciting anymore because I'm, I'm pretty much good, you know? Uh, I, I would like to get my rope in better shape now that I have flax. We can switch all these to, or at least some of them. Let's do two of them, switch it to flax. And then once this flax comes in, I assume it's going to come in much better than the crappy ass hemp did. I guess hemp does mostly grow in cooler climes, right? Sorry about that. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to start upgrading a few of these since time is sort of running out for us. And uh, we should be getting some hardwood. Which is going to allow us materials. We need to make this a higher number. We've got plenty of storage space, so why not? Right, so we want fancy furniture. Capped out. No, now we just don't have the hardwood. But we're going to have the hardwood soon. Because we have two hardwood uh, foresters now. Of course, I don't know. It might, it might actually take them a while to sort of plant their new trees. They've got to cut down the old trees... Right? None of this is hardwood. Pine is not hardwood. I happen to know. Yes, I'm a forester. Anyway, uh, so that might actually take a long time to come to fruition. I don't know if we'll ever be able to get those upgrades or not, but we'll certainly try. Meanwhile, 12 people are homeless because I was a little too gung-ho on it there. But that's okay. We did have a little bit of a death spiral last, ugh, death spiral last episode, but we seem to be sort of coming out of it now. For better or worse. So, we could throw down a few more houses. Why do we have... Uh, oh yeah, okay. So these builders that are required are just for these upgrades that are not going to happen. They're kind of going to be just sitting there for a little bit. We could adopt these nomads. But I'm not really crazy about that idea. Uh, it would help the labor situation, certainly. But do I really need more laborers? Probably not, honestly. Probably don't. I had assigned a lot of work for these laborers, but it looks like they've gotten most of it. I basically told them to clear out all the rocks and iron and stuff from over here, and it looks like there's just a little bit left. So yeah, it's gonna is it gonna be a long time before hardwood comes? I could just chop down all these trees right now, that way I could See exactly how much hardwood is being grown, etc., etc., but probably not worth doing. Did we actually get some of those upgrades? Looks like we did. No, we did not. Yeah, okay. So it's a matter of fancy homewares, which we can't get until we get the hardwood. So we could maybe try to... Ooh, there's fancy furniture. Why don't we just buy that? That's lucky. So 750 and that will be good actually. So that's going to allow us to at least get started on some fancy homewares because we already have pewterware. You can only do one person there. So yeah, he should be able to do that. We just bought what, 50 fancy furniture so he can make, you know, 12, which should do all the upgrades that we're trying to do. I would certainly think. Not enough flax, eh? Looks like it's gonna come in better than the hemp for sure, though. What the hell is flax, anyway? I don't think I've ever, like, seen flax in its natural environment or ever worn a flax shirt. Anyway. We got these mines working. We got 30 laborers, 10 builders. We're pretty good, man. 44 food. We could probably go for more food. It was giving me a pop-up message saying I had low food last time. But that turned out to be bullshit, as usual. I don't know. I think uh, we're probably okay on food. I want to say. But we'll keep an eye on it. We've got so much of this hard tack.
I wonder how much wheat we have. Do we need another windmill? Let's see. We No, we're, we're good. We're turning all that wheat into flour real quickly. And I assume we probably have a little bit of flour. Yeah, we do. Okay. Good. And we can also buy food from people, not from you. Is there anything else I should be trading away? Isn't Can't you sort by quantity? Right. Don't want to trade away anything that's food, but coal could maybe go. Got a lot of glass that we're not using. Yeah. Eh, I mean, we're okay, I think. There's nothing that's like totally clogging the system. We could give away that leather. It's a possibility. If we see something we really want, we'll just tell the uh, workers to grab some leather. Anyway, harvest is coming in, but we're still in the 40s, whereas we were in the 50s before. So we can see that we're sort of drooping a little bit on the food, but not uh, to like an emergency level or anything like that. How about the fancy homewares? Did that ever happen? Yep, it's happening. Well, it's trying to happen anyway. Did you actually get some hardwood? Not yet. Okay. Nope, don't need that. As long as we're in the 40s, I think we're okay. Once we get into the 30s, we'll start to panic a little bit. But I don't see that happening for a while. Plus, we can trade for so much shit. Here's my food supplier. He's supposed to be getting a thousand rope. But now that we have flax, it shouldn't be an issue. Like, let's see. Yeah, okay, so way the hell better than the hemp. Should keep these guys able to make rope for a while. We'll put those two on flax, that one on uh, whatever. Okay, good. What kind of tools is everyone using? Everyone has steel tools, right? Okay, I heard somebody say that copper tools were better, but I don't know about that. All right, we got some food. Not a whole lot. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Pause it. There we go. Uh, we can only get about 3,000 of something. Um, cheese bread sounds good. Get 1,000 of that. And we can get 1,000 roots. <laughs> People will be real happy about that on their plate. Uh, and... I mean, bamboo, I know in real life you can eat it, but I don't know if the people actually, if my people actually eat it. Uh, tallow is used for things. Um, bread. Uh, so, 940, right? Good. Get some food in exchange for the rope. And you are dismissed. Okay, so yeah, he's set to get like a thousand rope. Where, where is it? Yeah, I told him, pick up a thousand. Should be enough to trade for our food. Keep waiting for this to fill up, but it doesn't. Anyway, are you making fancy homewares? You certainly are. Magnificent bastard. Are we getting any hardwood yet? That's the question. Looks like he's thinned out a lot of this pine. But I don't see any mature hardwood coming to us. I see some just regular old logs. Might make sense to order some hardwood logs, I mean. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's going to be where? Hardwood. Boom. Every visit, please bring me hardwood. And what do you have for sale now? Nah. Go on. All right, so we're back in the 50s with food. I don't think we have anything to worry about right now. We are capped out on stone. I think I'll leave that be. I don't think we need more than 2,000 stone, really. Hmm. Do more bakeries. It seemed like we had a bit more flour than we actually really honestly need. But I'm just not that I'm just not that worried about food right now, you know? We never did do uh wine. Let's see about maybe doing some wine here. We don't have any luxuries going on. 
So if I do a brewery, a winery makes from grapes and other fruits. Okay, so I've got apric apricots and I've got grapes. I can make spirits out of the wheat that I have, but I don't actually have any extra wheat. Let's do, let's just do grapes. That'll work. That right there. Good. Good, good. And then we'll do like a pub somewhere in town. Alcohol, luxury, smoking products. Always been a bit confused about all this, but anyway. I don't know if, can you order coffee beans? And then, hmm, how do you get coffee beans? That's a good question. Uh, it would be cool to put this pub right in the middle of town, but it's a little bit too big. That's a shame, that would be really cool. Um, where do we wanna do it? It's a pretty central location right here, let's do that. It's not, I don't know why it keeps giving me that message about low food. Pissing me off now. All right, beans, sorghum, herb, carrot, blah, 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 blah. Nothing uh, sticks out at me, so let's get rid of that. Probably use another cemetery. I thought maybe I'd put one over here. No. That's going to cause some discontent sooner or later. But that's just how it goes, I suppose. All right. Well, turn the speed back up, I, I suppose. Not much else going on. I'd like to see this winery get up and running, and then my pub come to fruition. I'd like to see me get some hardwood as well. 14 rope. We're just not making that rope like we should be. So I'm going to wait until we have more rope. Before I buy another round of food. Oops. Yes, he's not actually there. He's here. You've got, uh, we've got some food and stuff to trade. Some beeswax to trade anyway. Yeah, we can get a decent amount of broccoli. And it's just bread. And olives. 380 olives, just for a little bit of uh, spiciness, vinegariness. I don't know. If you, you know, olives are not spicy, whatever the hell. They, they're pungent, let's say. Pungent and savory. Okay. Looks like these upgrades managed to happen, despite me. So if we can get more fancy furniture, we can just keep on going with that. Keep our builders busy. I don't know what this is for. Roglius. Roglius. I just want to take a moment to appreciate that name. Roglius. Fine, upstanding citizen. Hardwood! Hello. I want to buy as much of this as possible, so... Gonna have to do math, which is lame. But that's quite a bit of purchasing power, so five. So we can buy a uh, thousand, almost two thousand. Hey, what do you know? Nailed it. That's right, kids. The more you know. Let's uh, let's fill this up with. Bar winches. No, this is the winery. There's no winches, unfortunately. So make me some wine, and then the winches shall be hither. Thrice winches. That should increase happiness, as winches tend to do. And uh, yeah, so that's that's nice. We should also plant tobacco, because I believe once we get a tobacco curer, cur curer barn uh, it won't be a problem 
This is cool. I've never built a pub kitchen before. Let me go ahead and do that and just see how it works. It says a variety of foods. Well, I definitely have a variety of foods at hand, so maybe that would just work out like perfectly. I don't know. We'll see. I don't like playing at this speed. I might turn it down here in a second. It is good to see that I'm not running out of food. Because I keep buying food. Not crazy about any of that stuff. I've got tons of hardwood now, so I should be able to just go on an upgrading spree if I really wanted to. I quite like the look of just one upgraded house like amidst the peasantry. That's how New Orleans looks, you know, because the the grand manors, they had like the slave quarters all around them and stuff. So you see a lot of blocks where it's like one big house and then it's like a bunch of shanties around the one big house. And you're like, oh, racism. At least a lot of people are if they think about it deeply enough. And we've gone off topic into a very dark place, which is something that I like to do on my channel. But I, uh, I digress. My girlfriend says I'm negative, find the negativity in anything, but I don't think so. I think I'm just realistic. You know, I think cynicism is pretty much just, you know, being being realistic, if you ask me. But, you know, some people, some people believe in Disney movies and stuff, and that's nice for them. Okay, well, whatever. We're good, I think, on food. He doesn't have enough reeds, but that's okay. These guys don't have enough flax, but the flax should be coming in shortly. Should be coming in better the second season, I would think. Anyway. Do we want to go ahead and make this little area? I mean, we don't really need any more laborers for what we're trying to do. Still. I mean, it would be kind of nice to have a few more houses. Let's go ahead and make the connection. Then we can decide later if it's what we want to do. We'll do it. Might as well have that connection there. I think I got that, almost. We can clear away some trees here just to have a better view. We do have 46 laborers after all. That's easily done. All right, so the pub has got some wine and the pub kitchen is going to make fish and chips, mutton and carrots, eggs and milk, beef and mushrooms, pork and salt, chicken and honey. We have chicken and honey, don't we? Sweet chicken. Nice. Give it a few uh, scullery maids. I don't even know what scullery means. Don't listen to me. Logs. Nah. I bought a bunch of hardwood. I'm good. Does that little symbol indicate a homeless person is in school? Okay. No place to shower. We're rocking out the fancy homeware now, so there's no reason we can't get all these lovely upgrades, which we seem to have done. What do you got? No. Sorry about that. Little pop up said my Dropbox was full, and I clicked on it, and then it paused the game. As, as happens. I don't know if you can actually see that. I think it's just recording the window. Anyway, this actually looks like pretty good, doesn't it? I actually made something that's somewhat aesthetically pleasing. Wow, go me. Food for 50 rope. Let's let our rope supply kind of replenish before we go buying a bunch of shit. All right, let's say we have all of our construction projects finished. And I missed something there, didn't I? And, oop. and we'll do the little stairs. That ought to work. Okay. Good, good. Everything's looking pretty good. Let's upgrade. We had built some town abodes over here, and we wanted to get upgrading on them, too. We'll just do, like, the front row, and that'll look like the rich people are in front with the nice uh, water view <laughs> and the poor people are in the back 
Anyway, I'm pretty pleased with my little town of Lacroix. It's come a long way, I'd say, in um, 27 episodes. And uh, yeah, I pretty much rock this shit at this point. And uh, but but Dead Inside says that the vanilla version is way harder. And I am turning over the idea in my head of maybe trying to do some vanilla, especially the challenges that are supposedly really, really tough. Because this, let's face it, this has just gotten a little bit too easy at this point. Um, it's more of just a sandbox game where we can kind of play around like city skylines and you don't really have to worry too much about anything going wrong. Which I don't think is really the way the game is totally supposed to be played. I think it's supposed to be played uh, a bit more of a, of a challenge and trying to, you know, help your people to survive and all that. So... We are going to think about that. There's a lot of stuff on the docket right now, but anyway, feel free to leave a message, a like, a subscribe, a glowing praise, whatever it is that you, you do, and I'll see you on the next episode. Cheerio. Bye.